Hey guys, it is me Simone and in this video I'm going to talk about a project that I'm going to be working on. So let's get started. Hey guys, long time no see. I know I've been kind of absent. I've mentioned in my giveaway video that I will be kind of iffy because I have a lot of things I'm focusing on, new job, um, moving process, whatever. But um, another thing too was I was kind of losing my creative mojo. I had a lot on my mind, so I wasn't creating as often. I wasn't feeling like too, feeling like I wanted to do anything. So, but I've been getting my crafty mojo back, so I wanted to make a video um kind of going over what i'm going to be using to create and craft in in most of my videos not all of them but a good bit of them so i've been watching the reset girl and um i think the beginning of this year or end of last year i don't remember exactly she released a um playbook now i wasn't kind of I wasn't really interested in the playbook at the time but as the months had gone by I was more interested in the idea of using a playbook as a nice way to craft when you just kind of in that stump of like what to do and you didn't know what to do I kept running into it after a while um before this like moving process and job process but I ran into the issue of wanting to craft on my days off um and things like that and then just not really knowing what to do um, or when I'm sick, a lot of times, um, I'll be at home and I want to craft when I'm sick to something make me feel a little bit better and I just didn't know what to do and I didn't want a long, drawn out process. So I kept going to the point where I was like, okay, I want to craft and then I run through all the ideas of like what I want to do. I'm like, oh no, I don't want to do that. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I, I literally just like felt like I was those kind of people on TV you see where uh, one person asking them what they want to eat and the girl says oh whatever I don't really care and they start listing out places to go and they kept getting rejected by the person who said they didn't care or where they went to get anything to eat anyways like how can you say you don't care but you clearly do that's where I am I say I don't care I want to get crafty I want to have fun but I just can't because I don't know where to start and I don't know which one, you know, project I want to start on or what I want to do and yeah. Or I felt like I was kept doing the same thing over and over again or having to do the certain thing to create and I didn't want to do that. So I thought it'd be fun to have a area to create in when I have those moments and as enough dropping off point to get creative now that's kind of what her playbook the recent girls playbook is i'm kind of in a situation where i really want to save money and i've come to a realization that i really have too much craft supplies and i don't want to um keep buying more and more craft supplies um i really want to limit slash eliminate me buying things unless it's like adhesive and tools that i need so um I didn't buy her book I actually made my own because of that I wanted to use what I had on hand and if I feel like I really 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 want to get her book because she does have some things I don't have in here like I don't have she has a, um, some of her things have like coloring books from her illustrated characters her little girls and then sometimes and they have maps or um, crossword crossword like uh, find the word kind of things um, which technically I could do myself if I really wanted to do those things. I could make my own crossword puzzle or find the word puzzle, whatever it is, if I really wanted to. Um, there are several generators online you could do if you really, if I really wanted to do that in my own book. But for all that, I mostly would just go to like the dollar store, <laughs> rip a page out, and then glue it in here. <laughs> for all that, I don't know if I would actually go through the process of making my own. I don't know. I might. I might. Who knows? Um, I just want a jumping off point and if I really really love it I will invest because it is a little more um, expensive I, I love supporting people but I do want to make sure I'm actually going to use the product before I actually invest um, so yeah and then for me I love making things so I know this will get me really excited about doing this process so yes alright uh, I've gibbered on long enough so let me tell you what I did 
because I did not do a process video for this because I was trying to figure out what I want to do, what kind of binding I want to do, and what size I want to do. So her book comes in a traditional 8.5 by 11. I did not want something that big, so I did this size. This is 8 by 7. You can do whatever you choose. Um, she does have her book bound in the disc bound system. Um, I was going to do it, but I couldn't get my holes to line up properly. Um, I'm not the biggest person of precision anyway, so it's most likely, you know, personal error, but I was okay with it. This is a little weird memory keeper punch that I have that I use for most of this. So I used it to punch little holes here, and I was good to go, completely fine. I can't say that I for, almost for, I sometimes forget I even have this thing, like, no lie, I forget I have this. Like, no lie at all, I forget that I have this thing. Um, so I used the punch out. You might be wondering why my thing has four holes, but only two rings. I totally forgot that I was only going to do two rings, and I punched four holes. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm okay with it. I can um, use other rings. I have bought in more rings over the years. They're just somewhere around my room that I just don't know where they are. At this moment in time, I know this book will expand over time, and I know eventually I will get more rings for it. Um, so I'm not really um, upset about that. It's okay for me. I'm fine with it, but if you're not, you can always change it. In the book here, I have my cover. I'll talk about that a little bit later. The paper I'm using, I'm using um, cardstock. This is a uh, Nuna Exact Index cardstock. I think this is a. I think it's either 110 pound or <clears throat> 90 pound. I don't remember exactly. I'll leave a link below for the product of interest. I was going to use like 32 pound printer paper, but I don't have any on hand. And that would require me to go out and buy some. So I decided to just use the cardstock I had on hand because I do have a lot of this paper that I bought. So I'm okay with it. I'm fine. I'm good, guys. Alright, going to my covers. <laughs> I ended up using a magazine to get the girl, and then I used Ephemera. This is from the Carpe Diem um, Reset Girl Collection. It's an old one. That's what it looks like. I know she has a printable um, store, so I bet you can find some of these things on her printable store and get it, because I'm pretty sure that's really old. I don't know many people who still sell the actual physical pack, but you can look around. Um... So I decorated her like that. I put like stickles on her eyes. I think they're actually technically called Zazz, but I mean they're the same thing. And then I use um what's it called? It's in front of me. Sorry, paper's coming up. I'll keep talking though. I used book text in the background, and then I used um some washi tape on here too. So I used this washi tape in the bottom over here. Uh, and that's from Aliexpress. I'll leave all the links I can to the product that I am using in the, that I use on this page if you're so interested. And then the white you see is the gesso that I use to kind of tone everything down and add some cohesion to make other pieces kind of blend in. I love it. I think it's like my favorite. I was so happy when this like turned out the way it did. I just love it. I inked the edges with some um, vintage photo and then a color similar to this color in the background. I don't remember the color I used. I just grabbed a blue color that seemed like it could match. And I add glasses to her and everything. So I love this. I'm so happy. I'm, I use some stickers for my stash, some ephemera for my stash, wash tape. And I said before, I'll link the links before I can. And then on the back is just a the inside page for it. I use another magazine girl that I liked. I inked the edges. I think I inked it with fire brick and then vintage photo. I used some gold um, wash tape here. It's actually much shinier than you see, but I dull it down with the white paint and then the, the blue. Back and scratch it off and show how shiny it is. But the same wash tape for co cohesion, and then I used the same um, embellishment pack for cohesion too, and then did the same thing with gesso, and then kind of went over it to tone it down and add some cohesion. And I just I think it adds a nice vintage kind of old feel to it. I just love how it turned out. Um, and here too, I added a plastic protector. This is actually a plastic cutting board from the Dollar Tree that I used. 
Um, I had one on hand from another project I was using and works perfectly fine as a protector for my book. Okay, so that kind of shows you like how I made this book. Paper is in it, what I'm using now, everything I had on hand. So for um, the inside, I'm actually going to do um, prompts. So the prompts I'm going to be using for this, I have written down. I just went on eBay, not eBay, but I went on Pinterest and I just wrote down a bunch of prompts. I'll grab a couple here and just read you, just read something to you guys. I told you I can't talk, can't talk. I haven't done videos in a while and I can't speak. Okay, so I'm reading my video, some of my Oh, you guys look like, I'm telling you, losing it yeah I'm reading some of my um, prompts that I wrote down um, so I prompt to say like um, cut out a word from magazines that inspire you stitch a design on your page um, turn a page into a swatch page um, use a paint swatch something you learn from a mistake create your own map um, happiness is dot 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 you know, and then the last one I read to you guys is cut something out from a Sunday paper. So that's like the prompts I've listed just in case I don't know what I want to do. I'm kind of stuck. I have a prompt that I could, you know, get and feel inspired by to make a pretty like art journal page or do some journaling. I kind of went back and forth on like what I would do, either journaling or an art journal page. After that, I um, am going to add little bits in here it's things from her book that i liked like i'm going to do a gratitude page i've never done gratitude before so i wanted to try it and then a um a monthly task um keeper basically just little things i i wanted to keep a monthly like um task like making sure i craft en enough and then make sure i um exercise enough or drink water things like that you can do in here too if you wanted to a little task keeper for crafting marking when I craft in here and seeing how many times I craft and then I want to keep like a um you know what I'm doing a current kind of thing page in here like okay I'm currently reading this I'm currently doing this um, I'm currently loving this you know just see like kind of what I do like most people I, I do obsess over certain things um, so I would like to keep track of like what I'm obsessing over in the current week month year and see how long it lasts um and then the next page will be my gratitude which i'm going to just do some die cutting and then have it posted here and glue it on here and the rest of the pages i will just leave to myself to art journal on with a prompt or without a prompt because sometimes i have projects in mind that i want to do using some of my dies but i don't know what i want to do them on like do i want to make a card with them do i want to just I don't do a canvas, you know, or just a single sheet of paper that I just do something on. You know, I kind of want something to do, but what do I do on? Is it an issue I ran into? I didn't always want to have to run to doing a card to make um, the projects. I'm not a big card maker. I do occasionally. It's not my favorite thing to do. So I didn't really want to keep doing that because I wasn't really happy using that. If it makes any sense to you guys. Um... You know, crafting is a big relaxation method for me when I don't craft enough. Um, I can feel myself getting really stressed out. I kind of get on edge a little bit cranky sometimes, you know. So I do love my little one-on-one -on -one time with myself to just kind of release some of the uh, pent-up frustrations that I have acquired over the week. But I, that's really it. I will definitely make some process videos of me working in the book and then process videos of me decorating it and getting to the level that I want it to be. You do not need to do anything special for this. I'm just using paper and things I had on hand. Um, so really that's about it. I might do a video. If you want to see me, see me new, do a video on how I decorate the girl and a process video on like how to collage this if you're interested. Leave a comment below, I'll make a video on how I did it, and I might use it as my back page to have something in the back. I just want something cute, I just really love how it turned out, I'm just like looking at her, she's just so pretty, it's like my favorite things I've done, I need to post a video on um, Instagram or something, or a, video, a photo or something. <laughs> Alright, I'm done, that's it, I am so excited 
to get started I have so many ideas so many things I want to do I just need to write them all down um, I don't like how I cut out and made my little um, prompts so I'm going to put them on my computer type them out and then print them out I think I like that one much better um, yeah that's it much love guys and I'll talk to you guys later um, have a great day get crafty and of course I hope you join in with me and make your own little um, playbook kind of thing that you can like work in and do different things um, and um, I just be asking like why don't I just use my original my originals that I use I mostly do one thing in them which is just art journaling here's my, my current art journal uh, I do a lot of painting in here um and things like that. I, I'm not really planning to do a lot of painting or this kind of stuff in this journal. Um, it's just going to be like maybe paper collages. I might paint a little bit. I don't know. But this is just for me when I feel like doing something um, but I don't know what I want to do. And a lot of times when I sit down in my art journal, I want to paint. I don't want to, um, I don't really don't do a lot of collaging in here without paint <laughs> or some kind of wet medium. It's just I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. But you see, I love the size. I like small sizes for some odd reason. I just love small sizes. But who knows? My things will change. It's going to have different things in like memory keeping. I wanted like a week, uh, a kind of like a, uh, what's it called? Couldn't be. <laughs> what is it? Almost like a project life kind of um, approach to it. More like a, um, an everyday kind of mundane thing I want to record. I still do traditional scrapbooking even though I'm like crazy behind um I don't know <laughs> what album I'm even adding my uh, layouts to to be honest with you <laughs> uh, so I haven't even finished scrapbooking my um uh, vacation I went on a cruise like two years ago I still have not finished scrapbooking that and I'm gonna go on a new one in November so I'm just like <laughs> yay but I don't put any pressure on myself if I brush myself it's gonna turn out ugly I'm not gonna like my paper so I don't want to waste my supplies, but that's kind of where I'm at. I just feel like I have way too much to be buying a bunch of stuff, and I really want to use up what I have. So that's a big reason why you haven't seen really one any videos because <laughs> my creative block, and then two, really any haul videos. I might have a few on my desktop that I haven't uploaded yet, but um, most of the videos so far, I. I'm not really doing any haul. I think I might have another, like, one more haul coming up recently. I bought some things off of AliExpress during their sale. Um, I bought some blind bags, actually. That's all I bought because they were, like, dirt cheap. And, um, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> um, but I haven't, like, sat down and, like, put in no specific order because I've just kind of been looking at things differently. But this is not the video that I want to talk about that in. So, much love, guys. I've jabbered on long enough. Um... And I am so excited to see if you guys join in with me or you go and get the one from Reset Girl. I have all the links to the product that I mentioned and um, the link to the website for Reset Girl and then the link to her YouTube channel if you don't know who she is or you want to see um, what I'm talking about because I know I explained it, you know, amazingly enough that you just don't need to do all that. But if you really want to, I, I do highly suggest you go look at it and see it. Um, it's very inspiring. I want to try something like it. Um, so, we'll see how this goes. I know myself. A lot of times I like the setup and the planning of things. But the initial, like, you know, using process, I just fail at. So, we'll see how I do it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Much love, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Get crafty.